I'm Prabal Gurung, and I'm a designer. We're very blessed, I think, as designers. We get to tell our stories twice a year on a big scale. The music goes up and the lights go up. And perhaps I would say like three or four seconds before the first girl walks out, that feeling particularly is what I live for. That is the biggest high. I can't even tell you. It is so... Um, Oh, I don't know what it feels like. That's what it feels like. If I see a fabric, and if I can envision it in my head, what the dress is going to look like, or the, what the top or the jacket is going to look like, I know it's going to be good. You know, if, it, if the girl is really good, and the way she walks, and the dress comes alive, oh, that moment is incredible. Yeah. My inspiration, I mean, every season varies from, you know, whether it's a picture or a movie or music. but. One thing that remains constant is the girl that I'm designing for, the woman that I'm designing for. That has always been the reason um, why I wanted to do. The notion of it, the mood changes, the color changes, the uh, silhouette changes, but the basic philosophy of the brand, the basic philosophy of the clothes that I want to um, make doesn't change. I'm not necessarily worried about being trendy or cool. I think the, the new cool is clothes that fit and function. Mrs. Obama, she wore one of my dresses. Um, that's probably the biggest moment. It completely validated <coughs> probably what I was doing back home in Nepal, and especially to my mother, like she always does. This is great, awesome, but what's next?